I'm Dan Guile. I'm the sales director at Share Bearing Corp. I see a lot of people that have gone through this whole lead time issue where now they're starting to go through breakdowns. They've milked their bearings or their products through maybe an extra season if they're in the aggregate mining where they shouldn't have. Maybe they're stretching their bearings as far as they can in steel mills. A repair is going to be, you know, you have some sort of failure. So there's something going on with the bearing. The bearing is slipping, chattering. There's noticeable wear inside of the bearing where we're going to have to take the raceways off. We're going to have to remill them, regrind them. Maybe you have a failed rolling element where you're going to see most of your load, your impact, dynamic capacity. A lot of that's going to happen in your rolling elements and in your cage. So uh, a repair is going to be where you actually have a broken or cracked inner race, outer race cage or a really worn uh, rolling element. Reconditioning is going to be maybe a light buffer or a cleanup, you know, where maybe somebody has had a bearing that they've had on the shelf for maybe five, seven, 10 years, didn't put it through the correct oil bath, wanted to send it to us before they put it in a million dollar machine. And they say, just want to give it a once over. Is there any rust? Can you guys just clean it up for us? So there's a reconditioning process that happens there versus a repair where something comes in and it's mangled, uh, full of grease, you know, ridden hard for 15 years. I'm Paul Sedemus. I run a repair department and we look at refurbishing used bearings, offering new bearings if we cannot repair them. And then we can also offer the customer a process of scrapping the bearing for the customer if it's um, not usable. So what we have today is we had a bearing come in from Canada for food processing. It's been repaired before, so we soak it in our cleaning tank, which we'll show you. We disassemble it and we label all the components. And as you can see, rust, which destroyed the bearing. Those are the spacers and the balls. So we keep everything separate. And then what we do is we actually generate a report for the customer. And we point out all the things that are bad on his bearing. So for this case, the end result is that the bearing is not usable, not repairable. It's just too much damage, too much rust in the raceways. So we're getting, we're waiting for uh, the customer to get a, a quote on a new bearing, and then we will scrap this bearing. And this one next to it is actually in very good condition. We can resurface the, the raceways. We can uh, straighten out some dents. And um, this one looks very good for to be a refurbished bearing, which will enable the customer to get the bearing back quickly. And it would be, um, you know, 35% of the cost of a new bearing to refurbish this bearing. So this is our parts cleaning tank where we would use our brush and you'll see the fluid comes out through the center. And it's just a safe solution that we clean the grease and oil. And then just to get the insides of the bearing before we take it apart, we'll send the bearing down and it. It could soak overnight if it takes overnight or we can, you know, within an hour, pull it back up and then um, and you can see it's going down. And then the lid will close and that'll, that'll sit there for 24 hours. Now, what we have here is another bearing. This is what we call a slewing bearing. Let me just grab one of my tools here. And um, this is ones that a shear really prefers to repair. They're, they're very robust bearings. They're very big. They're used in um, backhoes, caterpillar machines, tank turrets, and they're actually very simple. There's a plug that we pull out, and it's a set of balls inside, and we use a little magnet. And 350 balls later, we can take the rings apart. So this one here, we would probably clean up and well, we would offer new balls, clean the whole bearing up and uh, check the specs and send it out as new. We do a lot of ladle bearings. We do a lot of Z-mill bearings. We do a lot of aggregate and mining bearings. So a lot of crushers, shaker screens. Shear bearing is in with a lot of OEMs in that regard. So we have a lot of knowledge uh, that we could bring to even small distribution and users. Shear bearing has a lot of products that are stocked around aggregate mining, a lot of steel mill stuff. So we actually do a lot of reconditioning for a lot of steel mills as well. They take their Z-mill bearings and we bring them back in. They can't be down. These are very intensive, latent with, with lead time 
times. So we do full reconditionings for a lot of local steel mills. It's something that a lot of people don't really look at and they throw away a lot of bearings. We can bring those bearings back to life. Thank you.